In today's fast-paced digital world, the demand for high-performance, scalable, and responsive web applications is at an all-time high. Developers are constantly on the lookout for powerful tools and technologies to create seamless user experiences. Enter React, a game-changing JavaScript library that has taken the world of web development by storm. With its component-based architecture, lightning-fast performance, and widespread adoption, it's no wonder that developers are eager to find the perfect backend to complement their React applications. But with many backend options available, how do you choose the one that will best suit your needs? In this segment, we'll dive deep into the world of backends for React, exploring the top contenders and helping you make an informed decision that will propel your web applications to new heights. So, buckle up and get ready to discover the best backend for your React app. If you find this video helpful, make sure to click the subscribe button below to stay updated on all my latest content. While React excels in managing the user interface, it is not a complete solution for developing web applications. To create a fully functional application, developers need a robust back-end system that handles data storage, processing, and communication between the front-end and the server. A well-chosen back-end technology complements React by providing the necessary server-side functionality, allowing developers to focus on creating engaging and performant user experiences. The best back-end for a React application depends on factors such as project requirements, scalability, performance, and the team's familiarity with different programming languages. By exploring the top back-end technologies available, developers can make informed decisions that will ensure their React applications run smoothly and efficiently. Node.js Node.js is a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome's V8 engine, allowing developers to write server-side code using JavaScript. It has gained immense popularity due to its non-blocking, event-driven architecture, which makes it highly scalable and efficient for handling concurrent connections. Some of the features and advantages of Node.js include 1. Single language for both front-end and back-end Node.js enables developers to use JavaScript for both front-end and back-end development, streamlining the development process, and making it easier to maintain code. 2. High Performance Node.js is known for its fast execution speed, making it suitable for building high-performance applications. 3. Large Ecosystem Node.js has an extensive ecosystem of libraries and frameworks, such as Express.js, Code, and Sales.js, which can be used to build feature-rich applications quickly. 4. Strong Community Support Node.js has a large and active community, which means better support, faster bug fixes, and regular updates. 5. Scalability Node.js event-driven architecture allows it to handle many simultaneous connections efficiently, making it an excellent choice for scalable applications. Despite its many advantages, Node.js has some drawbacks that developers should consider before choosing it as their backend. 1. Limited CPU-intensive task handling Node.js is not well suited for CPU-intensive tasks, as it can lead to slow performance and reduced responsiveness. 2. Callback hell Asynchronous programming in Node.js relies heavily on callbacks, which can become challenging to manage and maintain as the application grows. However, this issue can be mitigated using modern JavaScript features like async, await. 3. Learning Curve While JavaScript is a popular programming language, developers new to Node.js may face a learning curve as they adapt to the event-driven programming model and the different tools and frameworks available in the ecosystem. Django Django is a high-level, open-source web framework for Python that promotes rapid development and clean, pragmatic design. It follows the model view controller architectural pattern and offers a variety of features to streamline web development. Some of the features and advantages of Django include 1. Batteries included philosophy. Django comes with a wide array of built-in modules and tools, such as an ORM, authentication system, and admin interface, which can speed up development and reduce the need for third-party libraries. 2. Scalability. Django is designed to handle large-scale applications, making it a suitable choice for projects that require scalability. 3. Strong security. Django has several built-in security features to protect applications from common security threats such as cross-site scripting, cross-site request forgery, and SQL injection. 4. Large Community Django has a large and active community, providing excellent support, numerous third-party packages, and regular updates. 5. Excellent Documentation Django is well-documented, making it easier for developers to learn and implement its features. While Django has many advantages, there are some disadvantages to consider when choosing it as a backend for your React application. 
1. Monolithic architecture. Django follows a monolithic architecture, which can make it harder to develop and maintain large-scale applications compared to microservices-based architectures. However, this can be mitigated using Django's modular design and apps. 2. Less flexibility. Due to its batteries included philosophy, Django can be less flexible than some other frameworks, making it more challenging to customize certain aspects of the application. 3. Learning Curve Although Django is relatively easy to learn for Python developers, those new to Python or web development may face a learning curve as they adapt to the framework's conventions and features. Ruby on Rails Ruby on Rails, often referred to as Rails, is a full-stack web application framework for the Ruby programming language. Rails follow the model view controller architectural pattern and emphasize convention over configuration, which simplifies the development process. Some of the features and advantages of Ruby on Rails include 1. Rapid development. Rails conventions and built-in tools allow developers to quickly create web applications with minimal boilerplate code. 2. Dry and convention over configuration. Rails promotes the dry, don't repeat yourself, principle and uses sensible defaults, which can lead to cleaner, more maintainable code. 3. Active Record ORM. Rails includes an ORM called Active Record, which simplifies database interactions and abstracts complex SQL queries. 4. Large Ecosystem. Rails has a vast ecosystem of libraries and plugins that can be used to extend its functionality and accelerate development. 5. Strong Community. Rails has a large, active community that offers excellent support, resources, and regular updates. Despite its many benefits, there are some drawbacks to consider when choosing Ruby on Rails as a backend for your React application. 1. Performance. Rails may not be the best choice for applications requiring high performance, as it can be slower than some other backend technologies like Node.js and Go. 2. Learning Curve. Developers new to Ruby or the Rails framework may face a learning curve in understanding its conventions syntax, and best practices. 3. Declining popularity. Although Rails remains popular, its usage has declined in recent years in favor of more modern frameworks and languages. This could potentially impact the availability of resources and support in the future. 4. Less suitable for microservices. Rails monolithic architecture can make it less suitable for developing applications with a microservices-based architecture. However, it is still possible to create modular applications using Rails engines. Next.js Next.js is a powerful React framework developed by Versal that simplifies the process of creating server-rendered React applications. With a focus on performance and developer experience, Next.js provides a variety of features that streamline the development process. Some of the features and advantages of Next.js include 1. Server-side rendering Next.js enables server-side rendering for React applications, improving initial page load performance and enhancing SEO. 2. Static Site Generation Next.js supports static site generation, allowing developers to pre-render pages at build time for improved performance and reduced server load. 3. Automatic Code Splitting Next.js automatically splits code into smaller bundles, ensuring that users only load the code required for the current page. 4. API Routes Next.js provides built-in support for API routes, allowing developers to easily create serverless functions for handling backend logic. 5. Fast Refresh Next.js includes a fast refresh feature that preserves component state while updating the UI, resulting in a more efficient development process. 6. Incremental Static Regeneration Next.js allows for incremental static regeneration, which enables developers to update static content without rebuilding the entire application. While Next.js offers numerous advantages, there are some downsides to consider when choosing it for your React application. 1. Learning Curve Developers who are new to React or server-rendered applications may face a learning curve when adapting to Next.js. 2. Limited Customization Next.js comes with built-in features and conventions that may limit customization options for certain aspects of the application. 3. Complexity Next.js introduces additional complexity compared to a traditional client-rendered React application, which may not be necessary for all projects. 4. SSR and SSG limitations Although server-side rendering and static site generation can improve performance and SEO, they may not be suitable for all use cases, particularly for applications that require real-time data updates or extensive interactivity. ASP.NET Core ASP.NET Core is a high-performance, open-source framework for building modern, scalable web applications using c -sharp. Developed by Microsoft, it is a cross-platform framework that can run on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. ASP Core offers several features that make it an attractive choice for back-end development with React. Some of these features and advantages include 
One, high performance. A SP Core is known for its excellent performance, making it a suitable choice for building fast and efficient web applications. Two, cross-platform. A SP Core can run on multiple platforms, offering flexibility in deployment and hosting options. Three, modular architecture. A SP Core has a modular architecture that allows developers to choose the required components and minimize the application's footprint. 4. Built-in Dependency Injection A SP Core comes with built-in support for dependency injection, simplifying the development and maintenance of applications. 5. Strong Security A SP Core offers several built-in security features, such as data protection, authentication, and authorization to help protect your applications from security threats. 6. Large Ecosystem A SP Core benefits from the extensive .NET ecosystem, which includes a wealth of libraries, tools, and resources to support development. Despite its many advantages, there are some downsides to consider when choosing a SP.NET Core as a backend for your React application. 1. Learning Curve Developers who are new to C-Sharp or the .NET ecosystem may face a learning curve when adapting to a SP Core and its conventions. 2. Less popular in the web development community Although a SP.NET Core is widely used in enterprise applications, it may not be as popular in the web development community compared to other technologies like Node.js or Django. 3. Licensing Costs While the SP Core itself is open source and free, some related tools and services, such as Microsoft Visual Studio or Azure, may have associated licensing costs. 4. Potentially lower community engagement Although the .NET ecosystem is large, the community engagement around the SP Core may not be as strong as that for more popular web development frameworks like Node.js or Django. Firebase. Firebase, developed by Google, is a backend as a service platform that provides a suite of tools and services to help developers build, manage, and scale their web and mobile applications. Firebase can be easily integrated with React applications and offers various features that make it an attractive choice for backend development. Some of these features and advantages include 1. Real-time database Firebase provides a real-time NoSQL database that enables developers to store and sync data across multiple devices and clients in real-time. 2. Authentication Firebase offers built-in authentication services, supporting various providers like Google, Facebook, Twitter, and email password authentication. 3. Storage Firebase storage allows developers to store and manage user-generated content, such as images and files, with ease. 4. Hosting Firebase provides fast and secure hosting services, simplifying the process of deploying and managing web applications. 5. Serverless architecture Firebase's serverless architecture eliminates the need to manage backend infrastructure, allowing developers to focus on building features and functionality. 6. Cloud Functions Firebase Cloud Functions enable developers to write serverless functions that can be triggered by events in the Firebase ecosystem, streamlining the process of handling backend logic. While Firebase offers numerous advantages, there are some downsides to consider when choosing it for your React application. 1. Vendor Lock-in Relying on Firebase for your backend may result in vendor lock-in, making it difficult to switch to another backend service or technology in the future. 2. Limited Query Capabilities Firebase's real-time database has limited querying capabilities compared to traditional relational databases, which may not be suitable for applications with complex data querying needs. 4. Costs Firebase offers a free tier with limited resources, but costs can quickly escalate with increased usage, particularly for large-scale applications. 5. Less control Using Firebase as a backend means developers have less control over the backend infrastructure and may face limitations when trying to customize or optimize certain aspects of the application. 6. Scalability Challenges Although Firebase is designed to be scalable, some developers have reported challenges when scaling Firebase applications to handle large volumes of data and users. Spring Boot Spring Boot is a widely used framework for building Java-based web applications and microservices. Developed by Pivotal Software, it simplifies the process of creating and configuring Spring applications by providing a streamlined development environment and automating common tasks. Some of the features and advantages of Spring Boot include 1. Rapid development Spring Boot's opinionated defaults and automated configuration reduce the amount of boilerplate code and configuration required, resulting in faster development. 2. Embedded Web Server Spring Boot comes with an embedded web server, making it easy to deploy and run applications without the need for an external web server. 
3. Standalone Applications Spring Boot enables developers to create standalone, executable Java applications, simplifying the deployment process. 4. Wide range of integrations Spring Boot offers extensive integration options with various databases, security frameworks, and other third-party libraries, providing flexibility in building and customizing applications. 5. Spring Ecosystem Spring Boot is part of the larger Spring Ecosystem, which includes a wealth of tools, libraries, and resources to support Java application development. 6. Microservices Support Spring Boot is well suited for building microservices-based applications, thanks to its lightweight nature and ease of deployment. Despite its many advantages, there are some downsides to consider when choosing Spring Boot as a backend for your React application. 1. Learning Curve Developers who are new to Java, the Spring Ecosystem, or both may face a learning curve when adapting to Spring Boot and its conventions. 2. Memory Consumption Java-based applications, including those built with Spring Boot, can consume more memory compared to applications built with other technologies like Node.js or Go. 3. Slower Startup Times Spring Boot applications may have slower startup times compared to other backend technologies, particularly in the context of serverless architectures or container-based deployments. 4. Complexity Spring Boot can introduce complexity due to its extensive range of features and integrations, which may be overwhelming for some developers, especially those new to the framework. Here are additional backend options for React. Datsby. Datsby is a popular open source static site generator built on top of React. It simplifies the process of building static websites and web applications by providing a modern development stack with performance optimizations, progressive web app features, and a plugin ecosystem. Datsby can be used with various backend options, such as headless CMSs and APIs, to fetch data during the build process and create optimized static assets. Prisma. Prisma is an open source database toolkit that simplifies the process of working with databases in Node.js and TypeScript applications. It provides an auto-generated, type-safe query builder to interact with the database, making it easier to fetch and manipulate data. Prisma can be integrated with various backend frameworks, such as Express or Fastify, and can be a good fit for React applications that require a modern and efficient way to work with databases. Strapi. Strapi is an open source, headless content management system that can be used as a backend for React applications. Strapi provides a customizable API and an intuitive admin panel to manage content, making it easy for developers and content creators to work together. Strapi supports various databases, including MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQLite, and MongoDB, and offers features like authentication, authorization, webhooks, and custom plugins. Strapi can be a suitable choice for React applications that require a flexible and extensible CMS to manage content and data. GraphQL. GraphQL is a query language for APIs that provides a more efficient and flexible alternative to traditional REST APIs. It allows clients to request specific data from the server rather than getting a fixed set of data from a specific endpoint. This makes it easier to build powerful and flexible client applications, such as those built with React. GraphQL can be used with a variety of different backend technologies, including Node.js and Express, making it a versatile choice for a React backend. In conclusion, there are numerous back-end options available for React applications, each with its own set of features, advantages, and disadvantages. The best back-end for your React application will depend on your specific requirements, expertise, and preferences. When choosing a back-end for your React application, consider factors such as performance and scalability requirements, the complexity of your data management needs, the size and expertise of your development team, integration with existing tools and services, hosting and deployment preferences, your familiarity with the programming languages and frameworks involved. Some popular backend options for React applications include Node.js, Django, Ruby on Rails, Next.js, ASP Core, Firebase, and Spring Boot. Additional options like Gatsby, Prisma, and Strapi can be considered for specific use cases, such as static site generation, database management, or content management, respectively. By carefully evaluating the features, advantages, and disadvantages of each backend option, you can choose the best solution for your React application and build a robust, scalable, and efficient web app that meets your needs and goals.